OCOR Corporation in San Diego, California, is proud to introduce the OCOR Multiple Segment Lobe Pump, which was recently recognized in the top 100 of new product entries in the NASA Tech Brief Create the Future contest. The pump design is based on the proven concept of a dual rotor lobe pump, which is a positive displacement device. The pump delivers continuous, non-pulsating flow and can run at any speed while maintaining high displacement efficiency. The pump is also fully reversible. For the purpose of demonstration, a very simple prototype unit was designed that incorporates four discrete lobe pumps, sequentially arranged on parallel shafts. The sequential alignment of the individual pump segments eliminates the pulsation characteristic that is persistent in conventional lobe pumps. The OCOR multiple segment lobe pump is suitable for a wide variety of media and, depending on the application, any number of pump segments can be used. In order to demonstrate the proof of concept, we've manufactured a simple pump based on the configuration previously demonstrated in the animation. In this unit, there are four individual pump segments made up of two identical rotors sequentially separated by an angle of 22 and 1 1⁄2 degrees. Each rotor set is isolated from the adjacent rotor pairs by a stationary plate to prevent cross-flow of the media. The shape of the main housing and end plates for this unit has been kept very simple to expedite fabrication. In this pump design, there is no direct contact between the side-by-side -side pumps and the separator plates or the arc regions between the individual counter-rotating rotors and the housing. This isolation of the rotating element prevents metal-to-metal -metal contact, eliminating the possibility of metallic contamination of the product transported. The design is scalable and simple to manufacture, offering a broad range of characteristics for nearly endless applications. We will demonstrate the operating characteristics of the OCOR multiple segment lobe pump using a simple test environment. The four rotor pump unit is attached to a reversible one and a half horsepower motor and mounted on a bed plate that is roughly centered between two 300 gallon water tanks. Identical inlet and discharge housings provide a uniform flow transition from rectangular to round on either side of the pump that lead to two inch piping between the water tanks. An electronic tachometer is mounted on the pump end plate to monitor motor shaft speed. We are going to demonstrate a series of flow tests, pumping approximately 50 gallons of colored water between tanks A and B. We will provide test results of the pump's capabilities at the end of the prototype demonstration. In our first demonstration, we've stabilized the speed at 620 RPM, flowing water from tank A to tank B at an approximate flow rate of 53 gallons per minute. As you can see, there is no pulsation, with the water rising in a uniform manner. Although we're using water as our initial test media, the pump has the ability to pump virtually any type of liquid, semi-liquid such as mud or crude oil, as well as air and gas. While the prototype unit has been made using the simplest shape components, for a real industry machine, the body would be a casting that has the inlet and discharge transitions built into it in such a way that suits the real installation environment. Both end plates would also be castings. For our next demonstration, the shaft speed will be increased to 800 RPM in the reverse direction flowing from tank B to tank A. We have now stabilized the speed at 800 RPM, which corresponds to a flow rate of 68 gallons per minute. We will run at this speed for a little over one minute, transporting approximately 50 gallons.
We've stopped the unit again to reverse the flow from tank A to tank B at a new shaft speed of 940 RPM. Again, we will transport 50 gallons of water to the other tank. Duration of this test will be just under one minute. For our final test, we will start with approximately 100 gallons of water in tank B. We will increase the motor speed to 1120 RPM. At this shaft speed, the unit will pump 94 GPM, which means that under these conditions, we can fill two 50-gallon tanks in just over one minute. As you can see, with the motor peaking at a loaded speed of 1120 RPM, we have yet to see any evidence of cavitation. We're going to run at this speed until the tank runs dry in order to demonstrate the ability for the pump to transport air or gas. Once the liquid has been eliminated from tank B and the unit is unloaded, the motor speed will automatically increase to 2500 RPM because of the difference in mass density between the water and the air. The unit is now pumping air at a rate of 35 cubic feet per minute. In order to document performance, we have run a series of highly monitored tests at six stabilized flow rates. The results are shown here in a graphical format. The displacement efficiency over the range of 300 to 1120 RPM was in excess of 81%. It should be noted that the clearances in the prototype were very generous, averaging 8 to 12 thousandths of an inch between pumping components. Overall efficiency can be improved significantly by reducing operating clearances. A more advanced and efficient geometry could also be used, which incorporates a helical lobe design, eliminating one or more segments. For more information about the OCOR multiple segment lobe pump, contact Brian O'Connor at OCOR at cox.net or call 619-733-0888. Four, four.